Well, good morning. It's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I'm back again with my coffee, and it is cards and coffee time. And as you can see, we've got quite a fun one planned here for this morning. Don't forget to drink up. Now, I'm in LA, so we are hunkering down right now for a giant hurricane. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but there's actually like a, I guess they call it a tropical storm now, but it's headed towards Los Angeles. Kind of strange thing to see. Uh, we're getting all these like text message warnings about floods and things. Uh, from what I see on the map, it actually is going to be quite far west of where we are. Uh, or sorry, east of where we are. So, because we live pretty close to where the ocean is and it's going to be pretty far inland. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, but we still like are bringing in all the, you know, potted plants and things from outside. Anything that could blow around, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's weird because we don't we don't get that very often here. Uh, but anyway, sorry. Back to trading cards. Um, so what we're gonna do today is look at all of the ten UN boxes by Kayo that I have in the archives. So this isn't all that they make. There's a couple I'm missing. Uh, most notably that Fire Brigade one is pretty popular and I'm missing that. Uh, and I'm missing the Harry Potter ones. I probably, I'm probably i never probably going to get those ones. So I just, I don't like movie art. And honestly, the Harry Potter movies, I used to like them, but they're very hard to watch now. Uh, whereas, you know, something like The Lord of the Rings, I still watch that every year. So, uh, but I, I can't really watch Harry Potter. It's really kind of boring. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of go through each of these boxes, pull out two packs from each, and then we're going to open them all. Uh, so let's uh, let's just get started. So this is this like really well decorated box here, like honestly very pretty. Uh, this is, of course, My Little Pony by Kayo, and this is the ten yuan level of it. Uh, so why it's ten? And it's kind of an amalgamation set. It has cards from all of the other uh, sets that they made, but this box has more rare cards in it. Specifically, you're going to get one HR, which is a lenticular 3D card in every single pack. And then every pack has a chance for any of these uh, higher rarity cards, which includes SC, which is the new rarity just for this box. So anyway, I've never pulled one yet, but uh, I've never been disappointed either. Like these packs always seem to give me really good, interesting looking cards. So yeah, I'll we'll grab a couple out of here and we'll open these today. This is sort of like a expensive battle too, because all these tenuous boxes, uh, although they're not that expensive, they are all about $30 each. Which, you know, is in the scheme of things pretty cheap for trading cards, but for this kind of trading cards, that's pretty expensive. So there's this is Jujutsu Kaisen, of course, which is sort of a, oh, I don't know, martial arts wizard school <laughs> comedy anime kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I've watched a few episodes now, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it is definitely uh, like wizard school. There's a lot of mad. There's a lot more magic than you would think. Anyway, so this uh, this is one of their latest sets, and uses this kind of configuration rarity system. Uh, but it's a very interesting system. So when I first opened this, I was a little disappointed by it, because I was like, wait a second, I'm getting a stupid SR in my hit pack, because this seven of eighteen is the rarer hit pack. But a commenter told me that they did that actually on purpose so that your regular hits are still guaranteed. So you're still guaranteed, you know, S, uh, UR, MR, about 11 in a box. But the BP, the case hit is the BP, now doesn't take up one of those slots. It takes up a different slot. And if you don't get the BP, you just get an SR. So it's, this is the same as a low pack, essentially. And they sort of inverted the odds. Uh, so the odds are actually super good on that set. And the cards have always looked great, too. Um, now, this beat-up box, uh, it came to me this beat-up. It was shipped sort of this badly, uh, which is 
sad, but uh, it does happen. Remember, these things are coming all the way from China, although it is possible to ship them well, uh, but this one wasn't. Uh, but this is the British Museum. So this is a Cayo sort of historical cards. Uh, so these are all actual paintings and artifacts from the British Museum on these trading cards. And this is the second edition. So the first box is kind of like brown checkerboard pattern. The second box is pink because it supposedly has Alice in Wonderland cards in it. In fact, the set, as you can kind of see from the box, is sort of focused on Lewis Carroll, a British author, and Alice in Wonderland. Um, but I've never actually pulled an Alice card from it, so I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm just very unlucky. Uh, but yeah, I have not pulled one yet from there. Okay, so this is the Three Kingdoms, and specifically the first edition art cards. So there's also a TCG, which is, you know, actual like rule cards and things. And then there's a second edition green box, which I actually have over there, but I haven't unboxed it yet, so I can't use it in this battle. Uh, but after this, uh, after this particular video, I will open that and then we'll open more. We're going to open a lot of Three Kingdoms today because uh, we got to look at that box. But it should be just as good. And these are kind of art cards. So these are full art, uh, full art cards based on kind of the Three Kingdoms historical period, you know, Dynasty Warriors stuff. Now this box is very popular. Uh, everyone loves this online, at least. Uh, this is Saint Seiya, the Zodiac Warriors. Uh, so they all have like Zodiac symbols. Uh, it's a very big set, 136 cards in the set and awesome secondary market for this. I've never pulled any big hits from it, but you can pull three or $400 cards from this box. Uh, it's definitely possible. Although you would need to get them graded by CSG in order to resell them for that, but it's still it's possible, right? Which is crazy for these kind of cards. So, uh, so that's pretty neat. That's Saint Seiya again. Uh, then we've got two different Transformers boxes. So this is, uh, well, let's open them in order. So this purple one is the first one. You can see here, you know, that well, that's a character for one there. Uh, so this is the first edition. You can also kind of see on the back TFDC001 purple box. It'll cost more because it's older and out of print. Uh, but it's still a great set. I would you know, recommend getting it because this set comes with a hit pack in it, whereas they stopped doing that in the TF2. So even though you'll pay a couple dollars more for this box, you're kind of guaranteed a really good card. So it's still probably a good box to buy. And also it's out of print. So if you're going to collect these, you, you need to get those because there aren't many left. This one is still uh, available pretty much everywhere. Yeah, these are... Again, Transformers set, but based on the comics, uh, the old anime shows uh, and movies, not the new films. So this does not use movie art. Uh, it's like, you know, like comic book art. I guess there's a little bit of movie art, but mostly it's comic book art. Uh, and this is uh, TFDC002. Now there's also a Rise of the Beast set. I have that, but it's not a 10 UN box. It's a 5 UN box, so I didn't bring it out. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll do a 5 UN battle, but uh, for now we're doing a 10. Today is a 10. And this is interesting because this is uh, called the J box because it's got a J here uh, from Marvel Hero Battle. And this is the most recent release from that product line. Uh, this is the Star Lord J box, which is sometimes also called the Essential box. Uh, but this is a 10 UN box. I mean, it's printed right there, 10 UN. So you, you can know exactly what it is by that. Um, I also have the Thanos box, but the Thanos box doesn't have 10 UN on it. Even though it looks exactly the same and does have, you know, suggested price 10, that's what this says on the back. Uh, I didn't use it because it, it doesn't have 10 on the front. That's basically the only reason. Uh, although I, I have that box as well here. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe... Maybe we should do that. Why don't we do that? Why don't I get that and we'll do like one pack from this and one pack from Thanos. I'll be right back. All right, I'm not going to pause this time, which is probably a mistake. It's going to take me forever to find it. No, there it is.
<laughs> I still probably should have bought <laughs> Man, my shelves are a mess. Okay. There. Yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need to reorganize those shelves. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is the old Thanos J box, the older box. Uh, but it doesn't have 10 UN printed on it, or if it does, the sticker covers it. But it is a uh, suggested retail price of 10, so it's, I think it still counts. Uh, so we're going to take one pack from Thanos as well. Which... There, we'll put that one. Okay, now I think we have a perfectly fair fight here. For all of our Tenuin products and all of our... Both of our J boxes here. So let's get these laid out. And we'll do kind of a, you know, not a formal battle, but we'll do like an informal battle up here where we'll open these kind of, you know, like one, we'll do one of each and then another of each. And we'll look at maybe only the hit, but it goes a little bit faster. And we'll start here with My Little Pony, which uh, shockingly now my most popular video of all time, beating out even Mario and the Cryptid Waifus is a showcase of My Little Pony cards I did uh, la last weekend. And I don't know why, but it got over a thousand views. It was crazy. Uh, very, very, uh, quite a few views on that video, so for me anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so I guess people like uh, My Little Pony. Unfortunately, these are getting very hard to find because after that video, I was like, oh, maybe I should go buy some more. Uh, this 10 U the this 10 UN box now costs over $50 pretty much everywhere. The uh, older 10 UN box is $80 everywhere. So yeah, these cards are apparently worth quite a lot right now. Um, as you can see, they look cool. Like Kayo did some really neat effects on them. Uh, and especially at this 10 UN level, you get such good cards. Uh, you know, you'll get an SR and an SSR in every pack. So it's definitely... Uh, like definitely a cool set if you can you know if you can tolerate the theme at all which i mean you should be, have an open mind you should be able to this one is awesome daybreaker wow that looks really bad man look at the, uh, those little suns is what i'm looking at those are so cool so that's yeah an ssr of daybreaker I, i'll sleep up that i mean that looks great Uh, and then, yeah, every every pack is going to have one of these uh, lenticular cards, which, look at the effect on that. I mean, it does reset, so it's not quite as good as the JoJo effect. Uh, I have a 3D JoJo card, which never resets like that. It's com continuous the entire way. Uh, but this one does reset. But still, like, the 3D is great on that card. And you get one of these in each pack. So I think these alone make the box worth it. They're, I mean, if you, I guess if you hate lenticular cards, then no, but uh, if you can tolerate a lenticular card, uh, those look really good to me anyway. Okay, let's check out a Jujutsu Kaisen now. Uh, so this is their newest release. Again, came out, I think, this month, even early this month, or late last month. I can't remember. And, uh, yeah, I put my order in, like, right away, because I was like, okay, yeah, that one looks cool. I'll get that. I would skipped the uh, Fire Brigade one, just because I, I, didn't, I didn't know that anime at all. I kind of knew this one a little bit. Like, I didn't know it well, but I knew of it. Uh, but I've, I've seen those Fire Brigade cards, and they actually do look really good, so... This is what I mean. There's, like, a lot of magical elements to this show. A lot, a lot more than you'd expect. It's from Jujutsu. It's really not a uh, a martial arts show. But that's a great looking card. What am I? Is this an? I think this is an SSR. Yeah, this is an SSR. I just love the combination of refraction effects on that. Uh, it makes it you know like these little white things here kind of shine like that that's really a great effect and then you've got you know, etched letter in here so yeah that's a very nice looking card 
The other ones I have are green. This is my first red. And, uh, and it looks great, I'd say. Let's try and get these out of the glare. It's going to be tough. I guess my glare spot is here right now. But this way. <laughs> the problem is I also have a glare spot right here. So we have a lot of glare. Okay. And let's check out a Three Kingdoms, which again is uh, art cards. And we're going to be looking at a lot of Three Kingdoms today. Uh, I probably will bring out the TCG box to do like a three-way comparison of the sets, you know, now that we can. It's interesting because these packs come with like another pack inside of them. Which is interesting. If you buy the cards online directly from Kayo, you actually only get these. You don't get the outer uh, foil wrap. You just get this inner pack. Which is fine. I don't, don't think you really need all that. So I already have this one. Uh, it's a B. So this set uses very different rarity system than Kaio usually uses. Uh, you've got letters like A, B, uh, I think F is one. F is a really good one. Yeah, I have all of these already. They also have different, uh, see how they have different color markings here? That's also a way to kind of tell the rarity of the card. And the same card will have different, like I have this card without the blue here, and it looks very different. That's a really cool looking card. Very neat effect on that one. Uh, but these are the ones I really like. So these are like old style paintings. And then they've got that kind of neon laser outlining on them, which is just awesome. Yeah, I like, I really like these cards. They're good, I think. We'll put that right there. Make some space. We'll look at a British museum. Theoretically, Alice in Wonderland cards, although again, never actually pulled an Alice artifact from here. They are in here, though. Like, the flyers are very clear about that. But they're clearly they are chase cards. So these are the base. Uh, base in this set all kind of have the artifact image and then this interesting pattern. A hollow pattern in the background. So that's cool. Wow, that one's... That's a very cool-looking painting. Or I guess maybe that was a mural? I don't know what that was. That's awesome. Look at that. It's like a plate, like a plate, maybe a plate. Yeah, maybe a plate. Still super cool. And this also uses a completely different rarity system with levels. So L1 is the, you know, least rare base cards. And we'll move up from there. This is a L4, I think. These uh, Zodiac cards. Uh, oh, they only say on the front. Okay. L3B, so L3B, uh, and that's, you know, got a zodiac symbol on it, and that is Cancer, but in this case it's a crawfish, not a crab, I have never seen that version of Cancer, uh, but that's, that's my zodiac sign, technically, I think, pretty sure, <laughs> July, July 19th, so I think that is mine, interesting looking card, and then here we have, what is that, is that a, a Muka? I think that might be an older Mupa, but it's a L2. Definitely an Art Deco era card. I love the silver uh, foil around it. But again, no Alice cards. <laughs> no Alice cards. That's not what we're getting. It's not happening. It's lies. Lies, man. I've opened like six or seven packs now and not gotten a single one. I'm going to have that entire box open with no Alice cards. And then I'm going to go buy like two more boxes because I, <laughs> I really want to see an Alice card. Oh wow, I forgot how good these look. Yeah, these are great. Uh, so these Saint Seiya cards by Kayo are really good. There's a reason like the secondary market is so hot for these. 
they, they are legitimately like look great and uh, have beautiful effects on them too like you can see the foil is just perfectly done on that card uh, here's a what is this an sr i think this is just an sr yeah or ssr sorry it's been the corner look at that gold armor light up like that beautiful and then, oh, sweet, I got a, uh, a QR. So QRs are always going to be these chibi cards. But this one is like a stained glass effect. And it's the Aquarius Warrior. That's cool. Now, these cards I've seen on eBay before. So uh, I think they have some value, these QRs. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much. Uh, but, but I've seen these for sale, so... Why don't I, I'll go look this up real quick just to see, just for fun. I'll be right back. All right, well, it's hard to tell. Uh, I mean, a lot of them are being auctioned. But this is, there's a lot of these for sale. <laughs> like, if you go look, there's, you know, pages and pages of them. Uh, but I, I, it feels like most of these QRs, when they're on their own and raw, are selling for about $15. And when they're graded, $20, $25. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, Great cards, you know, you pay for almost the entire box with a pull like that, so that's a winner right there. Very nice. I mean, I'm going to try to leave this area here for hits and uh, leave the base elsewhere. Okay, let's pull the Transformers. Sorry, I'm going a little slow this morning. <laughs> I, I uh, kind of just woke up. <laughs> It's not true. I've been awake for like an hour. It's just we're, we're trying to like get up earlier each day to get ready for a trip we're doing in September where we're going to have to get up at like 7 every morning. Uh, so we've been getting up like 5 minutes earlier each day. And uh, today it was like 8.05. And, well, so I, I know that probably doesn't seem early to you guys, but for me that's pretty early. And uh, I'm, having, I, I'm, I'm doing okay, but not the best. Not the best. Huffer. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Ooh, that's cool. Skydive. This is one of the SSRs. Uh, TFO2 SSRs look uh, very cool like this. Got a lot of that kind of laser hollow effect going on. And looks like a puzzle piece on the back. Kind of nice. Actually, I should probably sleeve up that SSR. Sorry. Yeah. Th these also have uh, not as... This, for some reason, has... A the best secondary market, I think, of all Kyo cards, uh, but that might be next up. Here's another. Uh, oh, that's just an SR, but that's uh, Chaos, Chaos uh, Coordinator. That's probably supposed to be Coordinator. <laughs> oh well, it's Megatron. He couldn't. Megatron doesn't know how to spell. What are you expecting from Megatron? And then this will be the HR. So every pack of these comes with one of these lenticular transforming cards like this. Now, like I've said before, the lenticular effect on these is just so good. Like, it's almost continuous, right? Whereas this is basically two frames, <laughs> right? So this lenticular effect has two frames, whereas this one has, I don't even know, like 15, 16 frames? It's a lot of a lot of lenticular layers on that uh, so yeah not as impressed by these lenticulars as i am by those i wanted to show you that because I, I wanted you to see like why i think that particular lenticular is so good and it's because of the frames of 3d that it has on it versus that one this will have the same so this will also have an hr in it all transformers packs do and it'll be another one of those transforming cards like that. Now this will be kind of interesting because we'll see this was this was TFO2, and this is a base rare from TFO2. That's what they look like. They all kind of have this fake action figure look. Whereas in one, they look like this. So in TFO1, the rares are just character art like that. And so that's a rare in TFO2, that's a rare in TFO1. Shadow Striker. Friend is another word for fool. I don't know if that's true, but 
That is what they say. Oh, six gun looking massive there. That is cool. That is a cool looking design. Very nice looking card again. And there you can kind of see the difference between a TF1 and a TF2. They're similar, but there are slight differences in the designs for SSR. Put that there. It's a strange mix up here, right? I love having weird mixes like that. What do we got here? Snarl? Oh, he's uh, some kind of uh, armadillo? Oh no, Stegosaurus. Kind of a Stegosaurus, I guess? Gosh, it's hard to even see the effect on that one. Uh, yeah, not the best. Not the best lenticular card. And then we'll go, go over here to our last uh, sort of card in what we would call round one, I guess. And this is a a 10 UN hero battle card. And this is from the first J box. So J box one, J, uh, J001. The Thanos box. Even though it doesn't have Thanos on the pack, it has Thanos on the box. It's the same with the other one. The other one has like Star Lord on the box, and then it's got, you know, the, what? I forgot her name. Green Lady on the back. Her name is not Green Lady. The most dangerous woman in the universe. Oh, great. It's Hawkeye. I love Hawkeye. No, I don't. I just get Hawkeye. I have so many friggin' Hawkeyes. Uh, what am I looking at here? SSR of... Who is that? I, I don't know who that is. I, I honestly don't know who that is. It's an SSR though, so a good, a good card. Now when you're in, at the J-Box level, you're pretty much guaranteed SSRs. You'll get, get them in almost every box. It's a rare Groot. Rare Thor. Oh, Rare Venom. That looks cool. I love the Venom cards. Now the SSRs and stuff look better at Venom, but even now it's not too bad. And the Green Lady. So that was not actually a very good pack. That was kind of a disappointing pack. Usually you get like an SSR and another hit uh, in the 10 UN packs, but uh, that 10 UN pack, full of rares. Not, not the best. Uh, Still cool, whoever that guy is. I don't know what it is. Oh, I feel bad. Someone's gonna tell me who that is, but I just I can't I cannot identify that that Marvel person. All right, here we go again. This is uh, My Little Pony, of course. Cool star effects. Photo finish. Nurse. Red, Red Heart? Nurse Red Heart? I guess that makes sense. Meadow Broar. That's a cool look. Ooh, a UR. I think this might be my first UR. It's very sparkly. Oh, look at the refraction all over the... That's why it's so sparkly. That's cool. That is, uh, there's like a lot of refraction tech on this card. You can even see up here that it's not solid sparkle, right? There's refraction to it, even up there. That's crazy. That's a UR. Ooh, the back looks cool too. Yeah, my first UR. Looks great. And then this will be, a, again, a 3D card, which will have, you know, a much better 3D effect. Very cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. Let's put that over here. All right, another Jujutsu Kaisen then. Jujutsu Kaisen, not Jujutsu. Different things. <laughs> I think they're just different pronunciations of the same concept, but I could be wrong. Okay, so these are our base. 
And then, oh, it's the same one, isn't it? It is. Oh, we got a dupe. Oh no, that sucks. Well, I'll sleeve it and put it in the dupe pile. We have some high quality dupes right now. What we got? We've got a UR Spider Man is in the dupe pile, an SR Gundam, and now an SSR Jujutsu Kaisen. Those are my dupes right now. But I have an entire like box of dupes over there, multiple boxes. I'm gonna get uh, some of those huge BCW 3200 card boxes. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna start putting dupes. Because I have a lot of dupes. I've also got some new binders. I'm going to open those right after this. I'll open them during mail. I don't usually do that. Uh, but I've done a lot of work this week to reorganize my binders. And I kind of want to show that. So I open those binders and then I have some stuff to put in them. And yeah. Anyway, you'll see. And I got a new binder, which is for Jojo. I finally decided uh, to get a binder dedicated to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Because I have, oh, I don't know, I have like 20 boxes of that. I should, I should probably have a binder for it. This is uh, Th Three Kingdoms again. This is a dupe that we just got this card. Oh, that one looks great. Doesn't that look cool? Very cool artwork on these, I think. Uh, here is a... It's not, I don't think that's not a top rarity, but that's a pretty good looking card. Uh, I love the effect here on the spear tip. That's cool. I, I don't know the uh, rarity of that, but it looks really nice. And then we've got another one of the paintings, which, you know, always look great. These always look good, I think. You almost want like a sideways binder for these because in a regular binder they have to go in like this and you really want to present them like that. Oh, put that right there. oh no, way too much glare. Right there. Okay, cool. Come on, Alice card. We're never going to, it's never going to happen, right? I'm going to open 18 of these, never get a single Alice in Wonderland card. And then I'm going to go buy another box and it's going to happen again. That's, that's my luck. That's my luck. It's a pretty good looking painting there. Great, great foil effects. Oh, you got a bird. Everybody likes birds. It's a bird. And a guy on a horse. What do we got here? I mean, that looks very cool, but I mean, that looks really cool. Uh, wow. Wow, like the way the... Oh, and then there's this blue and green here, too. Gosh, that is very pretty. Oh, man. That's insane. That's an L3A. Okay. I mean, that looks really super good. This is an L2. We can. Not Alice, I hope you noticed. I'll, I'll sleeve this up though, this looks great. Uh, okay, then another Saint Seiya. Sorry, this video is like oh, going to be 40 minutes long. I think most of the cars and coffee end up going that long, so that's okay. We'll be doing a lot of shorter reviews and stuff. It's a, I, ha I actually have quite a few new cards here today. I just haven't unboxed them yet. I'll, I'll do that in, in the next video. I usually do a Friday night video where I unbox everything I received, but uh, we've been going to uh, the museum's jazz night on Fridays, and so I haven't been able to do it. That's an SSR again. It's a beautiful looking card. <gasps> Oh my god, we got another one, and it's a Libra. Oh, this is going to be worth a lot. Oh, man. Okay, so that box is paid for now. <laughs> Even if those go for only like $15, uh, I still paid for the box with these two. How awesome. Just like great, like 
beautiful looking cards. Like the, uh, you know, like this Aquarius one leans more into the blue and this Libra leans more into the white, but they both look great. Like, uh, I'm, yeah, honestly, very impressed. Like those might be the big hits of the day, of the day here. Uh, yeah, I mean, they probably are. They, they look great. They look awesome. And we got one from each pack. That's crazy. Here we go back into Transformers. See what we can get here. Sorry, I got I really need to change my setup so that the trash is on this side. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. Uh, here's Hound on a rare. Prowl on a rare. And we got Bumblebee on You are Really nice. Okay, so yeah, the URs in TF02 use this really awesome panel lining. Uh, I, I don't know what we call it, like a laser hollow, I guess. Uh, but also like so much stamping and gold all over this card. And then this etched in, the, it's just incredible. The printing tech on this is incredible. And that's a UR. Transformers. Man, I, I don't know. The, the UR is not worth as much as those, but that UR is a pretty good looking card. Uh, okay, so then we have just an SR. Never do what your enemy expects you to do. Good advice. And then our lenticular is... What is that? Movie Bumblebee, I think. I think that's Movie Bumblebee. Okay, we will... That's the better Bumblebee. I have a BP Bumblebee as well that is, I think, even cooler. That one, and that one is in like a costume. Oh, it's actually, it's a Zodiac card. All right, the Starscream. You can hear his voice in your head, can't you? Oh, God, I hear it myself. Let's not do that. Uh, this Rack and Run. My actions speak louder than words. What do we got here is an SSR of Prowl. Looks pretty good. Hello. Now that I have the UR, I'm like, oh, it's just an SSR. <laughs> so good, good looking card for sure. And then our Star Scream again. Nice. Okay, well that's cool. I like, yeah, Star Scream is cool. In its own like weird, weird way, I guess. All right, last pack, and then we are done with this. This was, again, the 10 Yuan Kaio Showcase, I guess? I don't know. It's all my 10 Yuan boxes of Kaio stuff. And I know it's not all the boxes, but it's close. Like, I think I'm missing two or three. I'm not missing, like, hundreds. Uh, so here's Kaio with their inner pack again. Now, this is the newest. So this is the Ant-Man set. That's why it comes with this inner pack. The other Thanos one, they weren't doing this yet. They're only doing this now. And I really don't know why they do this. It's like extra packaging, but it must be, it must somehow make it easier for them to sort and store everything, is my guess. But I really don't know. All right, what am I looking at here? <laughs> Another one I don't know. Oh, well, that's Yondo. Yondu? Yondu, maybe? That might be Yondu. I'm probably wrong about that. There's Ant-Man. Spider-Man. Rocket. And a UR. Oh, a, wow, a Deadpool UR. Black Widow SSR. I don't have that Black Widow yet. This is this is awesome. Uh, yeah, so Deadpool, obviously, really a good character. Uh, and then to get a UR is even better. URs are actually like pretty high i've never actually pulled a ur before that's kind of how high rarity they are uh yeah looks great it's kind of embossed sort of yeah it's definitely like embossed uh, all over which is cool great stats too remember this is a tcg and these stats matter that's awesome uh yeah i mean that was a great set of cards i'm Thoroughly impressed here uh, with what we pulled. Very happy. So yeah, anyway, uh, there's our, 
our Tenuan battle. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see more or less of. And as always, you know, subscribe uh, if you haven't yet. And uh, we do all kinds of weird videos like this. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. I am going to sign off now and set up for the next video. See you soon.